In the, the new collection and conservation facility, uh, we will have enough space to house our entire collection, or the, the collection that exists on the Lancaster Road site, to move into the building with enough expansion and growth space for future needs. The Ingenium collection contains approximately 156,000 objects, of which 86,000 objects will be moved over to the collections and conservation facilities. Existing housing space on the Lancaster site is approximately 17,000 square meters. When we move into the collection and conservation facility in spring of 2019, we will be moving the collection into approximately 36,000 square meters of purpose-built storage space. It will be a purpose-built facility. We've uh, hired a company, uh, Space Saver, and they will be coming in and they, uh, with compact shelving, both uh, mobile compact shelving, racking, uh, compact uh, cantilever shelving, this will allow us to condense our collection into a more compact site, make more efficient use of the building because the current buildings occupied by the, uh, the collection spaces uh, were not purpose-built, they were warehouses. So moving into the Collection Conservation Centre, we will have compact shelving that will address our, uh, our storage needs. We will have three active uh, conservation labs within the facility, two for treatment of the objects and one for the cataloging and acquisition. As part of best practice uh, in collections management, the corporation is also undergoing collection rationalization. What this entails is we are looking at the collection and trying to cull it to see what is the best national representation of a national collection. What this involves is if we have a series of, uh, for example, four brownie cameras, we'll look at the four brownie cameras, assess which one has the best provenance, which one is in the best condition, and we will probably deaccession one or two of that so we have the best representation or examples uh, for a national collection. Once the Collection and Conservation Center is open and we've housed the entire collection in it, we will continue to provide tours as part of the visitor's experience programming that was previously offered prior to the museum closing in 2014.